Well, hello everyone and welcome to another online school assembly. It's Father Richard here and Blwyddyn Nwydda Ichi Gyd. Happy New Year to you all, the first assembly of a new year of 2022. And I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and a relaxing Christmas holiday. You're all raring to go now with a new school term and the new calendar year. This morning, or today, this week, whatever it is you're watching this, I want to talk to you about water. Water. Lovely, clear, fresh water. Yum. And I want to think about what a wonderful, precious gift water is. What a great resource it is for us. And all the different things that we can do with water. So, as I've just done there, taking a sip from my glass, water, of course, we can drink. We can drink lovely cold water, which we need for our bodies to keep hydrated, to keep refreshed, really to keep alive. If we didn't have water, we wouldn't uh, be able to survive, wouldn't be able to live. I'm feeling now a bit chilly, but I need a cup of tea so I've got my kettle down here on the floor, you can't see it. I'm just going to reach down and switch it on there to boil some water. That's another thing we can do with water is boil it. Can you see the steam rising? There it is. Let's pick up our kettle and show you. Here it is. Can you see the steam rising out of the kettle? And here's our mug. Inside we have our tea bag. We pour our boiling water very carefully into our mug. Can you see it filling up? There's the lovely tea with the tea bag inside. We'll just leave that to, uh, to brew for a bit. Put our kettle safely back down on the floor. So we can heat water up, we can boil water for a nice cup of tea or to cook food. We need hot water, boiling water to cook things as well. What else can we do? We can freeze water, make it into ice. Here's some nice ice cubes. Put them in my glass of water. Don't put them in the cup of tea. That wouldn't be very nice. That wouldn't work very well. Put the ice cubes in my glass of water. There we are. Make nice, cold, refreshing glass of water. Uh, what else do we need water for? Or can we use water for? Well, of course, what about, here's a bowl, here's a jug to wash. I wash my hands like this with some water. Get my towel. There's the water on my hand. Washing ourselves, washing our hands, washing our bodies, washing our clothes, washing the car, washing the dishes. We need water to wash lots of different things with, to be clean, to cleanse things, to wash things. So we can heat water up, we can freeze water, cool it down, we can drink it, we can wash with it. What else can we use water for? We can make electricity with water. Think of the uh, water turbines, hydroelectric power. We can use the power of water to make electricity. Uh, we can go swimming in water. I don't know if you go swimming to the swimming pool. Perhaps you do. Swimming is a great exercise. Water is a wonderful gift. But of course, water can also be dangerous. Um, we can drown in water if we're not careful. Uh, and too much water leads to flooding. And we all know about climate change, the fact that uh, rising temperatures is leading to the melting of ice caps in the North Pole and the South Pole, leading to sea levels rising, which will in turn lead to flooding of island communities around the world. So there's danger in water as well. We need to respect water. We need to treat it with care. But it's also a great gift and we need to look after it and not waste it. And of course, 
we all need water in order to live. As humans, as animals, as plants, our entire world needs water to function. And in actual fact, you know, water is the thing that makes our planet pretty unique, certainly in our solar system, if not beyond. And it's an amazing fact that our world, our planet Earth, is just the right distance from the sun to have water. Uh, any closer to the sun and all the water would boil away and evaporate. Any further away from the sun, the water would freeze and it would be solid and we wouldn't be able to drink it and use it. We have flowing water on our planet, in the seas, in the rivers, in order to sustain life. So we should give thanks for the gift of water. We should think about all the different uses we can make, give thanks for all those uses, respect water and respect its power and sometimes its danger and also remember what it's there for. Now, why am I talking to you all about water today? Well, yesterday in our churches, we remembered and thought about the story of when Jesus was baptised. Jesus was baptised in the River Jordan by his cousin, John the Baptist. And I'm going to read you a little story from the Bible now, which describes that event. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptised by John in the Jordan. And when he came up out of the water, immediately he saw the heavens being torn open and the spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, you are my beloved son, with you I am well pleased. And I've got over here a little picture uh, that somebody has imagined what it would have been like when Jesus was baptised in the River Jordan. Here is the river water all around. Here is John the Baptist. Here is Jesus being baptised, being uh, laid down, if you like, into the waters of the river there and being baptised. And of course, people are baptised or christened, as we sometimes call it, all of the time today. Perhaps you have been baptised yourself. Perhaps you have been to a service where somebody else has been baptised. Now, some churches, they do it uh, like it was done in Jesus's day, where the person goes fully into water, maybe not in a river, but some churches actually have a pool built into the church where the person goes down into the water and is laid down carefully uh, into the water as a sign of their baptism. In other churches, like in my churches, uh, we do it in a slightly different way where we just pour a little water over the head of the person being baptised or being christened. And why do we do this? Well, there are lots and lots of reasons and it goes back to the reasons why we have water. Remember, we said water is all about giving us life. Without water, we wouldn't be able to live. We would die. And it reminds us, baptism with water reminds us that God gives us life, that we have our life because of him. He has made us, he has made our world and all that is in it. We also said, didn't we, that we can wash ourselves with water and make ourselves clean. And this reminds us too that God promises always to wash us clean of our sins, our mistakes, the things that we do wrong in life. God always promises to forgive us and to help us to start afresh. And so it's like we're being washed clean of those mistakes that we sometimes make. And baptism is a reminder of that. We also said, didn't we, that water is refreshing. Nice cool glass of water or if we're a bit cold, nice warm cup of tea. Put our hands around it. Oh, that's nice and warm. Water can refresh us, can cool us down or can warm us up, can make us feel better. And the same is true with God. 
because God promises always to be with us all through our life, through all the ups and the downs. And when we're feeling a bit depressed or a bit sad or a bit unsure or a bit uncertain, God promises to be there to help us and to refresh us and to encourage us and to guide us in life. And baptism with water is a reminder of that as well. So it's a wonderful gift, water, and baptism too is a wonderful gift. And even if we've not been baptised, we can still remember what water teaches us, that life comes from God, and we should give thanks for that, and we should always appreciate that, just as we appreciate water, and we shouldn't waste water. The cleansing, the cleaning, the washing property of water reminds us that God is always ready to wash us clean of our sins, to forgive us those mistakes that we sometimes make, the wrong things that we do and say, God is always ready to forgive us. And the refreshing nature or the warming nature of water reminds us God is always there to help us, to refresh us or to warm us up or to encourage us or to help us with all that we might be going through in life. And the baptism of Jesus reminds us that Jesus is there with us as well. He was baptised not because he needed to be forgiven for his sins, but to show that he was with us, with all of us who want to be baptised or are baptised or know somebody that's been baptised. Jesus is saying, I'm there with you. I'm there with you to help you, to encourage you and to help you all through life. Well, Diochen Vaur and Rando, thank you very much uh, for listening once again. I'm going to finish now with a prayer. Let us pray. Lord God, we give you thanks for the gift of water, which gives us life, which refreshes us, which we can use for so many things, and which sustains us, which also cleanses us. We give you thanks that you have given us the gift of life, that you were always ready to cleanse us and to heal us, but also to guide us and encourage us and to refresh us in all the challenges of life. Amen. So there we are. That's the end of another assembly. Hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching and listening and look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, take care. Bye for now.